Module 2, Technology in Action. Understanding Digital Components. Digital components are electronic parts that form the basis of digital circuits and devices. These components are used to manipulate and process binary data, which is the language of digital technology. Here are some of the key digital components. 1. Logic Gates Logic gates are the building blocks of digital circuits. They are electronic devices that perform basic logical operations, such as, and, or, and not. These operations are used to manipulate digital signals and perform calculations. 2. Integrated circuits Integrated circuits are small electronic devices that contain multiple transistors, resistors, and capacitors on a single chip. They are used to build complex digital circuits and are an essential component of most modern digital devices. 3. Microprocessors Microprocessors are the central processing units, CPUs, of digital devices. They are small, high-speed computer chips that process instructions and data in digital form. Microprocessors are used in a wide range of devices, from smartphones and laptops to cars and appliances. The purpose of a processor is to store and process data and information. Data represents a fact. Information is data that has been organized. 4. Memory. Memory is used to store digital data and instructions. There are several types of memory, including random access memory, RAM, read-only memory, ROM, and flash memory. These different types of memory have varying capacities and speeds. 5. Power supplies. Power supplies are used to provide the correct voltage and current to digital circuits and devices. They are essential for powering digital components and ensuring that they function correctly. 6. Sensors. Sensors are used to detect physical or environmental changes and convert them into digital signals. They are used in a wide range of applications, from temperature and humidity sensors in buildings to motion sensors in smartphones. Input devices. Input devices are hardware components that allow users to input data and commands into a computer or other digital device. Computers use a binary language, consisting of zeros and ones. A keyboard and touch screen are the most common of input devices. Here are some examples of input devices. 1. Keyboard. A keyboard is a common input device that allows users to type alphanumeric characters, symbols, and commands into a computer. Keyboards may be wired or wireless and may feature different layouts and designs. 2. Mouse. A mouse is an input device that allows users to move a cursor on a computer screen and click on icons, buttons, and other graphical elements. A mouse may be wired or wireless and may feature different types of sensors and buttons. 3. Touchpad. A touchpad is an input device that allows users to move a cursor on a computer screen by dragging their fingers across a flat surface. Touchpads are commonly found on laptops and other portable devices. 4. Trackball. A trackball is an input device that is similar to a mouse but operates by rolling a ball with the fingers. Trackballs are less common than mice but are still used in some applications, such as gaming and CAD design. 5. Stylus. A stylus is an input device that is similar to a pen and is used to write, draw, or select on a touchscreen display. Styluses may be included with some devices, such as tablets or smartphones, or may be purchased separately. 6. Microphone. A microphone is an input device that allows users to record audio and voice commands into a computer or other digital device. Microphones may be built into devices, such as laptops or smartphones, or may be purchased separately. 7. Scanner. A scanner is an input device that allows users to digitize printed documents or images into a computer. Scanners may be flatbed, sheet-fed, or handheld, and may have different resolutions and speeds. Output devices. Output devices are hardware components that allow computers and other digital devices to communicate information to the user, or to other devices. Here are some examples of output devices. 1. Monitor. A monitor is a common output device that displays visual information, such as text, images, and video, to the user. Monitors may use different technologies, such as LCD, OLED, or CRT, and may have different sizes and resolutions. 2. Printer. A printer is an output device that prints text, images, and other information onto paper or other materials. 
printers may use different technologies, such as inkjet, laser, or thermal, and may have different features, such as color printing and duplexing. 3. Speakers. Speakers are output devices that allow computers and other devices to produce sound. Speakers may be built into devices, such as laptops or smartphones, or may be external and connected through a cable or wireless connection. 4. Headphones. Headphones are output devices that allow users to listen to audio without disturbing others. Headphones may be wired or wireless and may have different features, such as noise cancellation and surround sound. 5. Projector. A projector is an output device that displays visual information onto a larger surface, such as a wall or screen. Projectors may use different technologies, such as LCD or DLP, and may have different resolutions and brightness levels. 6. Smartboard. A smartboard is an interactive output device that combines a display with touch and stylus input. Smartboards are commonly used in educational settings for interactive lessons and presentations. Understanding your computer. Understanding your computer is an important part of being able to use it effectively. Apple's macOS and Microsoft Windows are examples of operating system software. Here are some key components and terms you should be familiar with. 1. CPU. The central processing unit is the brain of the computer, responsible for carrying out instructions and processing data. The motherboard contains the central electronic components of the computer. 2. RAM. Random access memory is the computer's short-term memory, used to store data that the CPU is currently working with. The computer stores currently used programs and data in RAM. 3. Hard drive. The hard drive is the computer's long-term storage, used to store programs and files even when the computer is turned off. 4. Operating system. The operating system is the software that manages the computer's hardware and software resources and provides an interface for users to interact with the computer. 5. Applications. Applications, also known as programs or software, are the programs that run on the computer and allow users to perform specific tasks, such as word processing, web browsing, or photo editing. 6. Input devices. Input devices allow users to input data and commands into the computer, such as keyboards, mice, and touchpads. 7. Output devices. Output devices allow the computer to communicate information to the user or other devices, such as monitors, printers, and speakers. 8. Ports. Ports are connections on the computer used to plug in external devices, such as USB ports or headphone jacks. 9. Graphics card. The graphics card is responsible for rendering graphics and video on the computer, and can be important for tasks such as gaming and video editing. 10. Drivers. Drivers are software programs that allow the operating system to communicate with hardware components and external devices. By understanding these components and terms, you can better understand how your computer works and how to use it effectively for your needs.